what's your, I'm going to ask you to put your money where your mouth is now, having read a fair bit of evolutionary psychology, what's your feelings on what would have been a typical ancestral setup for um, relationships? Yeah. So, I mean, basically what I've read um, for, you know, what goes on in hunter-gatherer societies, um, they were largely monogamous um, for the most part uh, for multiple reasons. Um, One reason is um, it was essentially impossible to stockpile resources uh, in a hunter-gatherer or foraging society. So uh, a, a man could not accumulate vast amounts of material wealth simply because if you're in a, a, a small band or a tribe and you're constantly moving, you know, going where the food is, where the water is, you can't hoard like lots of material resources and carry it around with you. Um, that's one reason. And then another is that simply, um, you know, men had to rely on one another and trust one another in war and in hunting. And, you know, men aren't going to go, you know, fight for, you know, their someone in their in their tribe who has all of the women, right? Like, why would they do that? And so basically men had to essentially, I mean, this sounds, you know, maybe it doesn't sound so good, but basically like men had to create a system where the sort of access to sexual partners or whatever was roughly equal in order for the tribe to survive. Um, now, this doesn't mean that in hunter-gatherer societies, you know, infidelity didn't exist or, you know, mate poaching, which is, you know, luring someone else out of a relationship. Like there's there's research on modern day hunter gather societies and there is infidelity. There is, you know, cheating. There's, you know, divorce exists in a way where basically like, you know, people will switch partners later on and leave their current partner. Um, so there's all there's all of the things, you know, all these things that are sort of recognizably um parts of human nature but you know polygamy and its variations didn't appear to exist until the the rise of agriculture um once people were able to sit in one place and and stockpile resources the invention of money uh the ability to have you know uh to command large armies and so on um those things didn't come until after the advent of agriculture but in in small bands um they were mostly monogamous is my understanding but you know the question often the question is you know are we naturally monogamous are we naturally promiscuous what are we um and the answer is we're kind of both there is no you know universal template for human beings um it looks like in terms of stability monogamy is the best um, both, you know, maybe in modern society and also in, in foraging societies. Um, but, you know, people still do have urges and people want to, you know, have, have more than one partner, divorce is widespread. And so, yeah, we sort of want to, what is it, have our cake and eat it too? Yeah. Yeah. Which is very, you know, that's very human. Yeah.